So naught to seven is when we are like a sponge and we haven't, um, we don't have the questioning faculty um, developed in our mind yet. So from zero to seven, if you were told, hey, you can't ride a bike, you would be like, oh, okay, I can't ride a bike. Yes. What is NLP? I I don't know the term. Absolutely. So NLP is Neuro Linguistic Programming. So neuro is your mind, Mm -hmm. and then linguistic is the language that you use internally and externally. Mm -hmm. And then programming is the programming that we pick up from zero to seven. As an age. Yeah. So naught to seven is when we are like a sponge and we haven't... um, We don't have the questioning faculty um, developed in our mind yet. So from zero to seven, if you were told, hey, you can't ride a bike, you would be like, oh, okay, I can't ride a bike. But if you were eight, hitting eight, nine, ten, and your parent or someone like was like to you, hey, you can't ride a bike, you'd be like, but Sarah's my age and she can ride a bike. So you start to question things more, but from zero to seven, you pick up your programming essentially for your entire life. So what I do is I work with people to rewire the programming if they are hitting a wall or a block or an imaginary ceiling that they've created for themselves. Right. How, how, what's the process of identifying that a person might need or that the new the NLP it's a good approach yeah for yeah, yeah that's a great question so it, what we call it in the industry is we call it limiting beliefs so it's essentially a belief about yourself that's limited so if you were and the reason that it's life and business is because there's so many limiting beliefs that you have about yourself and business so I can specifically work with someone say they like are like I want to um get more clients I want to make more money or I want to open a gym I would help them work through those limited beliefs that they have around that a business or then with the life part it would be like I've worked with a lot of um women around suicidal thoughts um anxiety severe anxiety um eating disorders um, people that have been sexually abused, um, you name it. Oh, I've worked with someone that wow. has had it, okay? <laughs> and in business, we're always, like, from a business point of view, always told to niche down. Niche down, find your niche. But I've worked with a 10-year-old girl to a 58-year-old woman. I, I was yeah. going to ask that because you said yeah. sort of the sponge period from zero to yeah. seven. Does that mean your youngest client would be eight years old needing to reprogram because last year was a bad year for them? So those kids that have had two years of COVID mm. that have just turned eight, are they going to start needing to reprogram? Like, that sucked. When I was five, six, and seven, this was bullshit. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. Lot, of, lot of trauma um, that we've had the last, collectively. Mm. Yeah, collectively that we all get to re reprogrammed together as a collective but yeah those children well I can't pigeonhole them because I haven't specifically worked with them Mm -hmm. but um I know I've been approached quite a few times of around anxiety and doing that with children but but my personal belief is that if a child is experiencing something the parent is And I love to work with the parents first. I'll work with, I'll say, okay, I'll work with you first. And then if I need to, I'll work with your child. You just watched to a North Bay show clip. If you want to watch the full show or if you want to see us live, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get notifications about our live streams. We do it three times per week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7 p.m. And if you are more of a listener, go to altbase.nz to find out on which main podcast platforms we're on. Peace.